10 Rules Queen Elizabeth Does Not Have to Follow Queen Elizabeth II has now become the longest reigning monarch in the world. She has been the Queen of United Kingdom, Canada, Australia and New Zealand since 1952. She has been through times where the royalties held most powers and over time they lost some of these perks. However, there are still some laws Queen Elizabeth does not have to follow. And here are some of them. Number 1. She can eat a swan. If you ever have a craving for bird meat while being in UK, you better go for a chicken or a pigeon or a turkey or probably a pheasant. But never a swan. It is illegal to even hunt a swan in the United Kingdom. Eating it would result in terrible consequences. But not for the Queen. Swans in the United Kingdom are kind of protected by the Queen. She also owns the unmarked and muted swans all over the River Thames. That means she can make her forefathers' favorite meals of roasted swan with stuffing if she wants to. And no one can stop her. Number 2. The Queen can steal children. This one sounds pretty crazy, right? But it's just a fact. Queen Elizabeth is the official guardian of all children in the UK. Well, this means she technically has the right to take someone's child. But don't worry, she has never done this. Number 3. She does not need a passport to travel. Queen Elizabeth is one of the few people in the world who do not require a passport to travel around places. Just like the driver's license, all the British passports are issued by Her Royal Majesty, so she definitely does not need one for herself, since it's just one more of those things she can easily forget while packing her bags to travel. Number 4. She does not need a driver's license. Since all the driving licenses in the UK are issued in the Queen's name, it could look inappropriate if she issued a license to herself, don't you think? However, the Queen is a good driver, after all she drove an ambulance in the World War II. And when the Prince of Saudi Arabia visited in 1998, she drove him around the state in her Land Rover. And some say it was a move to provoke equal women's right ideology as women are not allowed to drive in Saudi Arabia. Number 5. The Queen can speed as much as she wants. Queen Elizabeth can drive around in the speed she wants and no cops can find her for that. She can easily exceed the speed limit which everyone has to follow. Her late sister, Princess Margaret, did not have this privilege and even got a ticket for speeding once. Number 6. She is exempt from freedom of information requests. Like a democratic society, the press and the public have the freedom to request information and ask reasonable questions regarding relevant themes. The royal family, on the other hand, has the power to block any act of freedom of information, which means the Queen is allowed to keep her and the family's affairs private. Number 7. No tax return. While everyone else in the UK and around the world have to pay taxes over their earnings, the Queen does not have to. Although the Queen has been paying her taxes voluntarily since 1992, which is very generous of her. Number 8. Queen Elizabeth II can start a war. The Queen has the authority to declare war as well as to refuse to make peace with any country in the world. The matters of declaring war are usually carried out by the Parliament, but it cannot happen without a royal approval which means she can declare war whenever she wants to. Though it's probably not the best idea since we have barely recovered from a pandemic that is still not over yet. Number 9. She cannot be sued or prosecuted. If you ever think to legally sue the Queen, it's probably not a very good idea, as she is above the law. The Queen can't be sent to jail and she does not need to provide any evidence in the court of law. All of this applies internationally as well. And all of that brings us to number 10. Queen Elizabeth II can break any law. So basically the Queen can break any law. She can break a signal, she can shoplift, she can legally loot and take on a private property in case of national emergency, she can print cash 
And by the way, she has her own cash machine in Buckingham Palace. The Queen can even have as many birthday parties as she wants. And she can lie about her age. Besides, she can steal children, rob a bank and even murder someone and get away with it. Of course, she has not done any of these things and probably would never do. Well, at least the most extreme ones. But now you know how powerful Her Majesty is and what she can do. So let me know in the comments below what of these perks you would like to have. Well, I personally just wanted to have my own cash machine and become a millionaire. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.